Hey everybody, welcome back. We are once again on the Apex server. I'm Tegorso, and I have somebody that I want you guys to meet. Yes, I have a new friend. I'd like everybody to meet Moo. This is my horse. That's what I named him because I got this awesome cow pattern. It's sort of like a reverse cow pattern. But he's got a saddle. You can ride him around. It's awesome. I love my horse because... Mostly, he was a pleasant surprise. Um, I thought I was going to get like a brown, like spotty horse. And uh, nope, turns out I got a black and white horse, which is really cool. So, uh, yep, wanted to share that guys that with you guys. And uh, right now, I have a few goals that I am trying to accomplish. Ooh, that's nice. Um, first things is... I want to try and get some uh, uh, paper for books because I want to build myself an enchanting table. Um, I have, as you can see, like 22 levels of experience. I've had several several levels so far, and uh, I've been using somebody else's. And uh, I sort of want to have my own just, just so I can have it in my place and everything and I've got a couple of things that I've got going on right now one of which is a, um, a nether tunnel um, I went and got some obsidian and made myself another portal and everything is loading in really slowly let me reset that there we go that's much better all right yeah here we go there's some paper materials over here um, so yeah so I've got that going and uh, the portal spawned me in a really crappy place. It was like in an extreme hills biome, but it was like way, way down underground. Like I went through and I grabbed like a bunch of gold and stuff, but um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Um, I just grabbed a couple materials. I don't think I'm gonna stick with that place, mostly because I didn't go uh, up top. Though maybe I should. That might actually work out pretty nicely because you know how I am. I like extreme hills. Um, but it's mostly, it's mostly just going to be like a, a secondary area, um, that I might use later. Not really too sure, uh, what I'm going to do with that just yet. Um, but we might just move that portal and have some fun, uh, see where it takes us. Okay, let's see. I, all right, I dropped off my, my other leather. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with the portal. Let's go ahead and move that. Because that'll be an adventure. I'm going to stop here and use this real quick. Just put a level on that. Efficiency. And I have a diamond pick finally. I mean, it's been like forever since I found diamonds. Usually I find diamonds the first time I ever go out caving. Um, but this, on this server, oh my god. Nothing. It's been dry as heck. Alright. It seems like portals put you in random directions now. It's kind of disorienting. Um, let's see here. I'll put that sign there. Oh, hi, pigman. All right, where's that gas? Is he around? Okay, I laid a uh, cobblestone down. Yeah, my texture pack is still broken, so this isn't actually stone bricks. It's all cobble. <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't actually changed it yet because I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, there's actually a couple things, uh, a couple cool things that I've seen recently that I actually wanted to bring up and talk about. Um, one of which is uh samsung is actually going to be coming out i'll give grab my diamond pick uh with a one terabyte solid state drive um i thought that that was really interesting uh because mostly it caught me by surprise um solid state hard drives are typically extremely expensive uh for the amount of size that you actually get um and they're usually limited to like you know 256 is big you can find 512s but usually they're not there are none bigger than that and uh, anything that is bigger than that is definitely going to be enterprise grade stuff you know for like servers and stuff um but i do expect that this uh one terabyte solid state drive is probably going to cost as much as a car so i don't think that anybody's really going to be able to afford it um it, though if it is actually affordable that would be extremely interesting so um 
that was a that was a little pleasant surprise that I saw posted. So uh, definitely going to keep my eye on that. And maybe if it's cheap enough, maybe I'll pick one up. Though probably not. I I just can't justify spending you know several hundred dollars on a hard drive. I I just can't. It it's just one of those things. I'm used to, I'm used to really cheap storage. I mean, even now the prices on hard drives, ever since the flooding in Taiwan a couple years ago, have been really, really high, and it 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 makes me uncomfortable, you know, paying that much for hard drive space. So, I guess I'm just a little old school. I'm used to paying cents per <laughs> cents per gig, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this bad boy in and grab one of my stone picks and. Now we'll continue on. Let's see. We'll just take out the two right here. Um, so yeah, so that's that's gonna be a thing. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, actually, uh, uh, earlier today, me and Garen were uh, playing around with the uh, Final Fantasy XIV benchmarking tool, um, which is, I guess, it's like pre-scripted game graphics that it runs. Um, so that you can actually sort of gauge how well your system will run Final Fantasy XIV. And I was actually really, really shocked at how efficient Final Fantasy XIV runs. I mean, it ran on Giren's computer with relatively high settings, which is saying something because his computer is not exactly what you would consider uh, a powerhouse. Um, yeah, he set it on high and it was fine, which was um, <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah, I literally uh, picked up Garen's computer for $5. Like, literally $5. Um, yeah, it was it was a special, special deal. They were l literally throwing them away. And I was like, th these are perfectly good computers. And so they're like, okay, we'll sell, it to we'll sell you one for $5. I was like, okay. So it's a Core 2 Duo machine. It's got like two gigs of RAM, and it didn't have a hard drive or anything like that. But I just went out and bought a, a hard drive, and uh, yeah, so computer for five bucks. Slapped a video card in it, and he's been using it ever since. Okay. Um. Swamp. You know this? Oh, don't tell me this is like a swamp island. That would suck. Um. Yeah, it looks like it may be a swamp island. I'm going to take these torches back. We're going to go We're going to go a little bit farther. Um because I don't really want to be in a swamp to be honest. All right. Break this. Grab that. Um so yeah, so uh if you guys are interested in Final Fantasy 14, uh we've already made the decision that we are going to be getting it. Um and from what I've been reading, uh, phase four of the beta, which is open beta, is going to be saving character progression. And those people who pre-order uh, before a certain date, I think it's I think it's actually before the release date on August 27th. Um, uh, the rumor seems to be that, that they'll save progression from uh, phase four and move that into release. And it seems like there's going to be a gap between the end of open beta release where people are going to get head starts so um there's actually the digital collector's edition which is what uh we've decided to get has some pretty cool stuff in it um you get like a helmet uh that was worn by the warrior of light in final fantasy one which is meh not really interested in that uh, but you get a, a a mount a special mount and some awesome behemoth armor for your chocobo and I was reading, it actually has mounted combat, which is extremely interesting. I've, I've never actually seen any game have mounted combat before, um, so I'm definitely uh, interested in that aspect of it. Um, so yeah, so definitely, you know, some cool things going on, and you know, some of you guys maybe th were thinking that it's, you know, ooh, it's a pretty game, you know, not really something that my computer can run. I challenge you to uh, run the benchmark if it's actually something that you're... Uh, that you're interested in because you might be surprised we certainly were um so yeah so just something i wanted to wanted to share with you guys all right so let's okay i got all 10 switch back to my switch back to my stone pick there we go and continue on actually i'm just gonna 
go like this for now because I only have stone picks on me and whoa Oh crap lag is killing me I'm stuck in a block okay there we go got free I hate it when that happens I always panic um let's see I have a new iron pick so I should be good uh, we should be able to find something cool um and then ooh Okay, this doesn't actually seem to be anybody's actual um, pathway. It's just it's just sort of an open pathway. Cool. So we're just gonna go. Keep going. Keep on going. Um, oh, let's see what else do I have on here. Um, oh my gosh, this was so cool. Um, I'm always into like the new technologies, especially for like transportation. You know, uh, um, cars and and you know electricity or electric cars, driverless cars, all that stuff. I find actually. Uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, but one of the things that we don't have uh, here in the States is public transportation. Um, some some large cities have it, but a uh, majority of places actually don't. Um, all right, let's see what this got. So basically, California, where we live, has decided that they're going to try putting in a high-speed rail system. Ooh, a desert. Cool. Okay, yeah, this this will do. Uh, let's go ahead and explore. See if we can find a temple or something. Um, so basically, uh, California is going to be putting in a high-speed rail system, uh, like what Europe has, the the bullet trains and, and that sort of stuff. Everybody's had them. We're like totally late to the party, um, so it's actually sort of embarrassing. But um, Elon Musk, who I actually talk about quite often because he's such he's such a profound person. Um, has proposed this new thing called a hyperloop. Basically what it is, is it's a uh, evacuated tube, which basically means it's a vacuum. And uh, they have these people pods that they, you know, stick six people in and shoot it into the tube and it travels really, really fast. Um, they're saying that it can reach speeds of... Um, uh, 4,000 miles per hour, which is almost uh, 6,500 uh, kilometers per hour for our European friends. <laughs> 4.8 times the speed of light. No, not quite. Um, but, you know, it's it's definitely cool and apparently is cheap. Like, we are spending billions and billions of dollars to build this high-speed rail system that is pretty much going to go from nowhere to nowhere. Um, I actually, like, I was in support of the, the high-speed rail system until I actually found out where the hell this thing was actually going to go. And it's like, wait, this, it's going from nowhere to nowhere. Like, you would think it would run from, like, L.A. to, like, San Francisco. No, they're running it from no-name cities that nobody ever wants to go to, to another, you know, larger, you know, city that nobody wants to go to. So, it's a little like, um, what's going on? So basically, uh, it's running from uh, Bakersfield to uh, nowhere, pretty much. <laughs> I think it's eventually going to stop stop in like Stockton or something like that, which um, I might add is the city with the highest murder rate in the state and one of the highest murder rates in the country. Just thought I'd put that out there. Because everybody loves going to murder capitals, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, moving on from that. So this Hyperloop thing would apparently be able to move you from New York to L.A. That's 3,000 miles across the country in basically half an hour. It would be able to send you from uh, L.A. to China in two hours. So, oh, hey, it's a bear. Oh yeah, this is the cafe. It's coming coming together very nicely. Looks amazing. Good job, designer bear. Oh, am I? Oh, it's lag. It's lag. Um so this hyperloop thing would be so much cheaper and apparently so much better. I I like, you know, we really need to stop with the the high speed rail thing. First off, it's like, you know, we're way behind the times. Everybody's like, "Yeah, we've had that. It, it it's cool, I guess." Um, 
and we need to check out this Hyperloop thing. Um, he apparently is going to um, uh, release the technical specifications in August, and actually, I think he's gonna actually going to petition the state to uh, review their plans and maybe install one of these uh, Hyperloops rather than uh, going with the high-speed rail. Uh, because they haven't actually broken ground on the high-speed rail yet. Uh, there's been funding problems. It's billions of dollars over budget already. And it's just, it's a complete mess. Um, so hopefully, uh, we'll actually get something cool going to somewhere useful rather than Bakersfield. Anyways, um... So I need a couple pieces of obsidian, and I know exactly where to get them. Uh, uh, Cubed Melanator and Infamous Cookie are building a, uh, who are or two other guys on the server. They're building a house up here on this mountain. So I actually was caving under here, and I found this amazingly huge cave system. It was ridiculous how big this thing is. I got lost, and apparently I found my way up under their base because I was I was so lost I was just digging out. Um, so I'm actually gonna just run over here and run behind their house, and I should be able to find the cave that I dug up into. Come on, there we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's like a I think this is it here. No, all these blocks that are in my way. Where's my dirt? There it is. There we go. Oops, not quite. Must be over here. One of these, one of these sort of like entryways. Ah, here it is. <laughs> I broke up like right into like his storage area place. Right down here. <laughs> this is where I came up. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, also, um, the other thing that I saw that was that was incredibly interesting is, and I've talked about this before, but um, okay, all right, let's see here. I think if I dig straight down, yeah, here it is. Here's the obsidian that. Oh sh! I was afraid of that happening. Get out of here! Oh man, all the zombies coming. Uh, I was so afraid of getting knocked down. And now everything is coming at me. And I'm not regenerating. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Get out of here. Die. Okay, eat, 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 eat. Whew. Oh, man. I was, I was really afraid that that, that was going to happen to me um, when I was going up. And I was like, oh, it didn't happen to me when I was going up, so it won't happen to me when I'm going down. And of course it did, because everything sucks. Okay, anyways, so let's dig up a little bit of a city in here. Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, um, Microsoft actually is going through a huge change right now. Um, they are restructuring their entire company, and uh, it's... I don't know. I'm I'm not uh, Let me get my words here. Basically, I'm not a huge fan of Microsoft. Um the way that they act and the things that they do are incredibly annoying to me. I think that they are incredibly arrogant and self-centered and that they think that they are way better than they actually are. Um you know, to be honest, they do need a restructuring, but I don't really think that the way that they're going about it is really going to help them. Um, but basically, the PC market is pretty much dying. Um, PC sales have been dropping year over year for a, a very, very long time. Whew, that was scary. <laughs> um, but it's predominantly due to the fact that Microsoft licenses cost so much. Um, but apparently there is sort of a movement to, um, you know, sort of go cheaper and, you know, streamline all of their, uh, damn it, I lost it, uh, streamline all of their services 
And to make a cheaper product, um, I, I sort of hope it works because we really need Windows. Windows 8 is a complete disaster. Um, again, like I was saying, Microsoft was incredibly arrogant with how they think, you know, you know, people should be using their computers. And basically, it's like touchscreen is the future for Microsoft. And I'm, I'm sitting here as a computer user going like, no, just no, absolutely not. They should have multiple versions for, you know, one for a tablet, one for a desktop PC, one for a laptop, you know, rather than having, you know, one version to rule them all. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm hoping that Microsoft pulls their head out of their butts. Um, but, you know, the restructuring right now is, is going on. And, oh, hey, it's Doc. Um, oops. And I'm, I'm really hoping that they can, they can actually put something together. Oh, God. All right, all right. Gotta go, gotta go. Whoa! Oh, man, this is, this is awful. I knew that was gonna happen. I thought that that guy was dead. Really? Oh my gosh. Wait! No, 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 don't, don't kill me, don't kill me, no, you bastard! Oh, god dang it. Why do I always die on this freaking server? Why am I hungry so often? What hit me? Ugh. Thank you. And now I need to go get my stuff before it despawns. Man, I was hoping to make a an enchanting table. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, so um another thing that and this is probably gonna be the last thing that I talk about, um, but uh one of the other things that, that really, really annoys me as far as you know trends in technology go is the whole patent troll thing and um, I was reading that the Federal Trade Commission FTC these are the people that that regulate uh, businesses and things like that are actually going to start uh, looking at our broken ass patent system and oh my gosh might actually do something about it it's kind of astounding um, it this and to be honest really really late um, the patent system has been broken for a really, really long time and it's been needing updates and fixes because people have basically figured out that it's the system is exploitable and they've figured out a way to exploit it very efficiently. Um, recently, there though, it's gotten sort of out of hand and judges have started saying, you know, okay, you guys are taking advantage of the system and it's not it's not cool and have been ruling uh counter to how they have been uh for quite some time so basically um the government is now getting involved it's gotten so bad that they are actually going to do something which is pretty incredible um all right so hopefully they will actually change the rules and fix our patent system because um, there was a company, a patent troll that was going around that was suing a whole bunch of, oh geez. All right, I'm gonna have to really make this go. Okay. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get down. I wonder if I could, okay, here. Did it. Survived. All right, got to pick up all my stuff. Um, there was a patent troll that was going around suing a lot of really prominent websites. Basically, they were saying, uh, if you have a website in which you use a username and password to log in 
we own that system. You know, that we've patented uh, the log in remotely from a different computer to a website patent. Um, which is completely, you know, just absolutely insane when you think about it. Because it's been part of the, uh, it's been part of, you know, sort of computers for a really long time. Login systems have existed since, you know, there's been secured systems. So basically the, their whole patent that was issued in like 2008 is complete bullshit, obviously. Um, but because of the way the patent system works, They've actually been suing and actually got, I think, $500 million from Microsoft. Um, because basically the premise is that uh, they nobody actually wants to fight a patent troll in court. Because going to court is really expensive. Um, so they'll just say, whatever, just here's your money, just go away, leave me alone. And they win, and they move on to the next person that they get to harass, and nobody ever fights it. Well, um, Newegg, uh, who is a, uh, a very big, um, very successful uh, discount online uh, computer parts retailer in the U.S. Uh, on the web, um, actually fought them in court. They took them to court, and they won. They basically invalidated their patent and... The patent troll had to pay all of Newegg's legal fees, I believe, which of course they they haven't done yet, I think. Um, but you know, basically what it is is it's uh, companies that set up fake companies to sue the crap out of other companies with bogus patents. <laughs> so that's the whole. That's basically what patent trolls are in a nutshell. It's a bunch of fake companies suing real companies that actually do everything. So, um, like, if you come up with an idea for a round, whirly thing that that makes contact with a surface and uh, has a has a texture for uh, slip control, you know, basically a tire, and you've never produced one of these things, but you get a patent for it. You could go around and literally sue every single company that makes tires, sells tires, has anything to do with tires, and get money out of them. But hopefully that is going to change, and in the future, um, oh, hello, oh, my phone's dying, um, and hopefully in the future that, that that's not going to happen. So, you know, screw you to patent trolls, I hate them. All right, so it looks like we actually may have enough here to actually get some books and paper and stuff. Um, was it three? Yes, it's three paper for a book. That's good. I've got more cowhides in here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these guys here. We've got 13 books total. That's great. Um, we actually will probably be able to make some bookshelves as well. So let's see, let's go like this, like that. Um, is that not how you do it? Uh, damn it, I don't know how to make a friggin' enchanting table. No. Do I need a... Oh, come on, really? Shows you how often I actually make these things. Um... Alright, so... Friggin' hell. Obsidian on the bottom row and the middle, diamonds on the sides. Oh, diamonds on the sides, okay. All right, there we go, and the book on top. All right, there we go. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm an enchanter. All right, do I actually have anything to enchant? No, oh, I died and lost all my levels. Oh, well. Okay, let's see here. So how do you make a... I think it's, it's books in the middle, and then wood. 
on top. Yes. There we go. Awesome. Hey, there's Sid. Say hi to everybody. Okay. So I've got four. I've got four books. That's certainly not enough. Um, I'm out of cow hides. So I'm going to have to go kill some more. Some more cows and stuff. But it's a good start. We're almost there. And then I'll be able to chant everything uh, full level and everything. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be uh, it for today. I hope you guys had fun uh, watching me get my face blown off and, and dying yet again. Hey, at least I got my stuff back this time. So <laughs> as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Take care.